So today's for the big game against Spalding. Just finished practice here today. And they are uh, gonna have a film session for about an hour and a half. Learn of Spalding's ways to help us defeat them. That's about it. Getting ready for the big semi-final game. Big game? Biggest game of my life. Big game. Big game. Alright? Alright. How you boys feeling? Great. It's a 5-2 victory. Phil? I feel like blood will be shed. Blood will be shed on the ice. And it will be the spawning kids and some of their fans. Maybe. Pretty good. You know. Getting nervous. Slowly. But hopefully not too much. Drop right now, two hours away from puck drop? Yeah, I was number six hours before, so sorry. I was more nervous this morning than I am now. Yeah. Just left the locker room. Open the door, it's a nice yellow bus that we take. <laughs> hey, and there she blows. Um, Here we go. More than half the hockey team. Here we go, boys. Me and Rob packed him last game night. time. Oh, you guys are like, We're gonna go to the yeah, shit. Smallest time. So did Cam. Welcome everybody to the Rinks at Exeter Arena here in Exeter, New Hampshire. Justin McIsaac along with Rob Fortier. Less than 24 hours after a great basketball playoff game, we're here to bring you high school hockey playoffs. The Division II semifinals between the number seven seeded Spalding High Red Raiders with a record of nine wins, eight losses, and two draws. Facing off against the defending Division II champion, three-seeded Dover High Green Wave, with a record of 14 wins against just five defeats. Uh, Rob, well, the people have been filing in here to uh, rink number one, the rinks of Ec at Exeter since 4 p.m. I got here at 3.30, and it's been a steady stream ever since. The uh, bleachers, if you've ever been here on the far side of the rink, are uh, just about filled up. The uh, Spalding student section taking over two sections over on the right, the Dover student section about a section and a half. gets a chance to play for the state championship on Saturday afternoon for the Verizon Wireless Arena. And, uh, and as always, with any type of Dover Spalding game, whether it's hockey, baseball, golf, tiddlywinks, charades, I mean, it's going to be a fierce rivalry. I don't know if they have high school charades, but you got to keep those emotions in check. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Uh, you know, this love fest, plain and simple. Yeah. you got rivals going here. It's filled with emotion. Uh, it's the third meeting this year. The teams know each other well. three times in a season. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, Spalding's really jacked. They want to win this game. And, of course, so does Dover. You're talking, you know, neighboring rivalries. Yeah. Uh, everything's on the line here. There'll be uh, no need for any pregame, uh, you know, psych em up speeches, so to say. Yeah, if you can't get fired up for Dover Spalding in the playoffs, you can't get fired up for anything. All right, three things tonight we need to think about. Three things only. First thing, play with emotion, do not play emotionally. Okay? We've been here before. We know how to act, we know how to behave, we know how to play in this game. Do not let your emotions get the best of you. Okay? Said this last year we went to the Verizon in warm-ups. Yes, take a look. A lot of people here to watch. Enjoy it. Also get a good warm-up in when that puck drops. Blanket it all up. Okay? Also, part of keeping your head is staying out of the penalty box. Okay? Two weeks ago at their place, they had two shots on goal in the first period at even strength. That's our measuring stick. 
We know that five on five, we're a better team than they are. When it's five on four, they're better than we are. That's the bottom line. Stay out of the box. Okay? First couple shifts, just keep it under wraps. All right, it's gonna be tough. Suck it up, and we'll be fine. Okay, the second thing. Just play our game. We beat them twice already playing our game. Okay? What did we work on all week? What else? Breakout. What else? Shots. Rebounds. 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 Okay, every shot, there's probably going to be a rebound. we got to be hungry and go to the net. Ben Henderson goes to the net last Saturday, he's rewarded with a hat trick. That's it. Okay? Let's stick to our game plan here. Let's go, boys. Okay? And we may need to make some adjusted, adjustments depending on what they're doing tonight. Okay, we don't know what they're going to throw at us. That's why we went over some things in practice to see what they give us. Okay? So everybody, their first shift, you got to be thinking while you're playing a little bit. Okay? <coughs> you have to communicate from the bench. All right? So short shifts, keep the pressure on them, get the puck deep, let's play smart. And we play Saturday. All right? I mean, this is the game that you guys played all year for. Quite honestly, maybe your whole life. Falling over in the semifinal? Sweet. Don't waste it. Let's go. Let's go, boys! Let's go!
car gets into the far corner, loses it, tries to chase it back down as centering pass. Big shot from the slot. A nice save by Tyler Bryant. Oh, what a save. Ball is able to clear up ahead. Matty Henderson has it. Short-handed bid. Liam Murphy in the slot. Pass goes wide. And the Red Raiders were able to take over. Not a good oh, Cam Peppin is back to get it. And he loses it off his stick. Taken away by Matty Henderson. Henderson left circle. Shot to save Scott. And he hangs on to get a f The Dover's trying to break out. Matty Henderson along the right side. Gets to the right circle. is falling. Trying to pull the trigger. A shot to score! Matt Henderson with a great individual effort. Dapcar at the left point. Tries to chip it in. Murphy has it in the high slot. Murphy goes over the right circle. High shot to save Scott. One to nothing Dover. Off, off a couple of skates and picked up by Dover. Racing through the neutral zone, Liam Murphy. Murphy gains the zone. Murphy, left circle, right circle shot. Save it over the crossbar. And Matt Henderson has it in the right corner. Trying to chip it over to Murphy. Instead takes a shot. Marquisic had it open net. He whipped on the foot. Made a tip on that and possibly saved a goal. To the circle, it goes for Levin. A shot. Pat saved. Scotty. Up to Dover's zone, but Dover's got a two-on-two -two here as Henderson, left circle. Henderson shot. back in for the Red Raiders. A steal in the zone, shot from the slot, a save. Phillips picked it off and fired. The power play, 30 seconds on the main advantage. Left circle, shot to save. It might have hit the crossbar. There's a golden opportunity from Ellis. Still kept in a shot and another. Two hit. posts in a row right there. And now, as behind the net, Henderson has it, 20 seconds to go. Henderson chips it into the neutral zone, going to go all the way down for an icing. Or no, they wave the icing off. Play by Spalding. LaChapelle has it. Ten seconds to go. Spalding, the number seven seed. Did a great job to get to the semifinals, but they're going to come up short as time winding down. It's all over for the Rinks at Exeter. The Dover Green Wave will return to the Verizon Wireless Arena to defend their Division II championship Saturday afternoon on WPSN. Your final, Dover Green. Oh, you will. Uh, last 11 years, I think it is now, Seacoast representative, either Oyster River, Spalding, or Dover, has been in that championship game. So, uh, yeah, it's always great to see the Seacoast uh, uh, representatives in there, and uh, great to see Dover, uh, Oyster River in the finals. For final, Dover 3, Spalding nothing. Dover returns to defend their state championship Saturday afternoon at the Verizon Wireless Arena in Manchester. We'll have that for you on WTSN. Uh, let's go over the third period. As uh, Dover won goal in the third period, it was Matty Henderson off the deflection, 14 seconds in on the power play. That made it three to nothing, Dover. And that was really all she wrote. Actually, Henderson with the hat trick tonight. He had all three uh, Dover goals. As I just noticed that, as uh, Rob keeping the stats over here. And uh, Matt Henderson, all three goals, uh, 18 saves for Tyler Bryan as he pitches the shutout. Uh, Derek Scott made 29 saves tonight as uh, Dover was able to throw 32 shots on net. And uh, Rob, I mean, Dover came out of the first uh, period. They really set the tone, they dominated. Smalling played better in the second, a little better in the third, but they dug themselves a hole. And uh, I guess Dover, you're not gonna get out of a hole if you dig it. No, not at all. I, I think really, Spal uh, Dover came out rather, and you know they set the pace of the game from the get-go. Like you said, uh, they more or less they, they controlled the pace of the play. They controlled the center of the ice, and you know they kept Derek Scott and the defense on their heels the entire game. Uh, and again, when you got good goaltending and good defense, you can take a lot of chances.